Hey, you traders, a little bit later a video than I would have liked. I uh, had a few things on uh, and work finished later, but I also just want to say to everyone that, you know, I'm sort of showcasing uh, my journey just to show you that, uh, you know, obviously it is challenging with me being in Perth, uh, Western Australia, which is actually 12 hours in front of New York. Um, but, you know, if you, you know, have a strategy and a system, uh, you just sort of, what I'm doing is I'm just sticking with one thing currently and then expanding upon that as I get a little more experience. So I'm just doing, you know, breakouts and dip buys. And also if things break down, I will sell um, a stock as well. So with my Forex stuff, I do buy and sell as well. So selling isn't really an issue for me uh, psychologically. If the price action's right and if, if things are, are playing out well in regards to a break of support and that sort of thing with with you know selling a uh, a penny stock so tonight really um i had a bit of a rushed watch list that i did put out and i will bring that out let's just see how mgti did because obviously Bitcoin was uh, last i checked a couple hours ago it was above uh, 6200 so let me check mm. <clears throat> There's just not a lot of interest at all. <laughs> they had a, a form D out as well in their SEC filings, and that was 3 a.m. in the morning. So that's interesting. MGTR. This is just a Bitcoin play, but it's not really uh, playing out. Well, so what I did mention, uh, I think I might have touched upon DRXC, and it actually moved pretty nicely, but I didn't, I didn't buy into this. So this is today's chart, and it's a pretty good volume, but there's there was no catalyst, and it moved just here the high three fifteen, might go as high as three three nineteen. You know, good volume. I was looking around here. Um, but didn't like this candle, and I I just didn't trade it. Uh, I sort of wanted to watch to see it maybe pull back and, and have a bounce, and it didn't. Uh, it did later on though, and go back up to you know three sixteen ish sort of price, but it you know it really wasn't doing a lot. The volume really drew me in that, <clears throat> so that's what appealed to me, and. The thing is with me, I probably trade the first hour or so, hour and a half, um, if there's any setups, and then I have to call it at night because, you know, I have five things on in the morning. So you've just got to sort of do your trading to suit your schedule. That's extremely important. I'm realizing I was staying on way too late uh, earlier on, especially in August when I had a, a month off work, and that was really, you know, pretty reckless. But, um, yeah, nothing really else to report. We've got some interesting moves. PYDS, bring that up. I'm going to close MGTI down. That's really uneventful. I'm going to keep this as quick as possible. We've got no trades though for me. So no. uh, PYDS. What's up a little bit? I mean, it's not an expensive stock either. Okay. So a nice little basis support here in the 185s, and it's turning up nicely. Not you know terrible volume either. So interesting one. But again, I've just sort of I I can't really hang around and watch it test. You know, the, the mid two you know 15s. Um, so I'm going to call it night guys, no trades, I didn't get enough um, from TRXC and there's just no news, there's there's conf press conference coming out um, in you know early and then mid November, I think this was the 9th, 
there's another one coming out the 14th as well so not enough was was there for me to get in on this let's see how srax is going nope. internet running really well as well interesting bitcoin futures coming to see me group and you know mgt i really didn't react to that at all pretty low volume this one as well so yeah not interested at all <sighs> guys i guess it's one of those nights i'm going to call it uh, nothing else going on stock trading wise thank you for watching and have a great session and enjoy the week as well